Hey my polished peeps, this is Jackie coming to you with a longer video this time around. I was going to share with you what I got for being press at the Polish and Beauty Expo. It was fantastic. Um, it happened in Tinley Park like it's showing here on this little brochure. And it was amazing. I don't know if who else um, went there. It was great. It happened in Chicago. July 13th and 14th, 2024. I had the privilege of being pressed for Glitter Unique this year. I love me some Glitter Unique. Um, and so I got in and got some really amazing things for that. I really want to thank um, Glitter Unique and KB Shimmer for allowing me to do this. And um, had some fantastic memories, great pictures. So I'll try to kind of uh, share some of those with you. But um, I thought I would do this video first. And this is like all the stuff that came in in the press bag. It was huge. Huge backpack full of things right up to the brim. So this is something that I did not purchase. This is something that did come from being pressed at the VIP and that included going into uh, the meet and greet. Um, that included the tickets to go into the actual shopping day on Sunday um, early to take photos and do some press. I did some lives, I'm sure you guys probably noticed. And this also included a lot of the stuff that you see here, included everything that you see here. So just wanted to make that verification that I did not purchase this. This was given to me because I was pressed. But here's the little brochure that you do get. You get this, this one every year. It kind of gives you all the information. Everybody that's going to be there it gives you the whole list of the people who are uh, vendors that are going to be there. You can even do your shopping list and write it down if you have, you know, have a shopping list of, of the vendors that you want to hit first. And it just kind of gives you all their information. Um, also, um, I think the thing I'm going to start with first is this Listen and Glow Jill. I mean, she gave this huge, huge bag full of things. I mean, it, she really kind of outdid herself on this one. It was gorgeous. Kind of iridescent bag. It's pretty cool. And she had a whole bunch of stuff in there. Um, so I thought I would share those first. Um, she gave us, this is Listen and Glow again. Uh, her dry and prep. Um, I'm not going in any particular order for these. Just kind of took them out of the boxes and just laid them out. So just so you know, not any any particular order. But I did thought I'd do the glisten and glow first. This is dry and prep. Um, I guess this is something that you put on your nail first. Kind of takes the oils off your nails. Then you put on your base coat, your color, and then your top coat. And that's supposed to kind of prep your nail. I'll have to try this. Love that. She also gave us her ridge filling a base coat I don't have ridges but I'm sure it'll still work base coat her top coat clearly shiny and fast this is a really good top coat I don't know if you've ever tried it I have had a few bottles it's fantastic so if you want to try that you can do that glisten and glow This is a glitter grabber, which I used on a couple nails just recently. This is awesome stuff too. A little bit thicker to go over uh, chunky glitters or um, flakes that are really dense. It works awesome. Kind of smooths it out. Let that dry for two, three minutes, four minutes, and then put your regular top coat right over it. Works awesome. This is her glitter grabber. So if you haven't tried that, I would recommend that highly. She also gave us a... Uh, pen here, lavender and lemon, cuticle oil pen, you can never have too many uh, cuticle oil pens, I use them all the time, stick them out, this is a twist one, and that's glisten and glow, lavender and lemon, and then she did also give us a polish too, so she just went all out, love me some Jill, this one is called Tinley Park at Dusk, it's a gorgeous purple with a Amazing purple um, flash and sh shimmer. Very, very pretty. Dark, dark. Probably a black base with all that shimmer makes it look purple. So that's really pretty. I don't have the official um, descriptions. I'm just kind of going in by the way it looks. So there you go. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous color. Once again, that's Glisten and Glow, and that is Tinley Park at Dusk. Really, really pretty. So that was something that Miss Jill from Glisten and Glow gave us. Amazing stuff. Uh, next thing is what we got from, had, it was in a little bag from the Poly and Beauty Expo. Just 
their little bag, swag bag that they put in there. And we got a tweezer, no, multi-chrome tweezer, isn't that pretty? Multi-chrome tweezers, can never have too many tweezers either. And love it in the multi-chrome, <laughs> fun. Also, oops, a magnet. Kind of this interesting, I'm not sure, I'll have to try and see what that looks like. You might have to do lines down your nails as a magnetic. And this one kind of looks like a flower at that end as a magnetic. So that would become it would be kind of cool. So I'll have to try that out to see what those actually look like. But that was from the Beauty and Beauty Expo. Just um, kind of their little swag bag that went in there. Try to take that out. This one is a little pin. has a little pin at the back. Pink. I can get one of these every year, a different color. So I think last year was a teal and this one's a pink. A new little thing where you can open um, nail, it's called a nail saver, can tab opener. Slide into tab, lift nail saver to open can. And then you can twist it around and it actually goes over the hole of the can to kind of keep bugs and to keep the fuzz in it. So that's kind of fun. It's something new, different. Got a big old sticker, love that. I'll probably end up sliding that through and making it a magnet like I usually do. I usually cut it right down to the bottle and then slide it into my machine and make it a magnet. Isn't that pretty? Little iridescence in there. And then some stickers, nail stickers, which these are fun too. Iridescent nail stickers. This would be kind of cool to put on your nail and then put a top coat over it. Very pretty, I'll have to try some of that. Do a little nail art with those. Very, very pretty. I like those. Next, we'll start off with some polishes. First one is a Bluebird. And this one is called Surprise Surprise, VIP. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous uh, teal green with some blue and teal flakes. It's gorgeous, y'all. Love me some blue, Bluebird. Blue from Bluebird. That's really, really pretty. Looks like it's more of a jelly feel. It kind of looks like a jelly. So that'll be very, very pretty on the nail. Once again, this is Bluebird. Surprise, surprise. A lot of these makers will have over pours, if they do have any, on their website within a week or two of the um, event. So you might want to check on those just in case and see if they have them on. If you see anything you like, you might want to check and see if they have it. Once again, this is Bluebird. And like I said, once again, this looks like kind of a jelly teal with some green and blue and teal flakes in there. Surprise, surprise. Next one will be Sweet and Sour. This one is called Very Important Polish, <laughs> VIP, very cute. This also kind of looks like a clear base jelly with multicolored flakes in there. Some blue, some teal, some green, maybe even purple. Very, very pretty. And that kind of feel looks like a jelly filled one also from Sweet and Sour. Very Important Polish. Very, very glowy, very summery, kind of ocean feel to it. Once again, sweet and sour, very important polish. Next up is Pinnacle Garden Pat Lacquers, a garden grows in Chicago. A light, really light lavender, almost lavender base with some gold and a blue and purple shimmer. And some hollow in there, it looks like. It even looks like some reflective glitter could be in there too. It looks like purple reflective. If you look down like that, it looks like reflective glitter is in there. Very, very pretty. And there you can see that kind of that blue shimmer and the gold shimmer. And then the red, purple and silver reflective glitter is in there. Once again, that's Garden Path Lacquer. A garden grows in Chicago. Gorgeous. I love that purple base in there. It really makes that glow. Kind of purpley pink. Very pretty. Next up is Danglefoot. I think she was the first time she was there. Uh, she come from UK, I think. She's a UK brand, and she flew in from London, I think it was. 
Awesome. This is gorgeous, y'all. Look at that. This one is called A Bull in Chicago. Another glittery in that. Looks like silver reflective in that, too. Um, this has, I, this is hard to describe. There's so much stuff in here. Uh, green, red, pink, um, teal glitters. I mean, this is just incredible from Danglefoot. Right there, you can really kind of see the red glitters. A little hollow in there probably and then there's some silver reflective glitters in that also so you can see as you move it around you can see those reflective glitters stunning once again this is a bull in chicago unbelievable dangle foot gorgeous and she is a uk brand love the reflective i still love reflective y'all stunning Next one is uh, PI Colors. And another looks like another uh, clear based, probably, um, jelly filled with some purple, green, lavender um, glitters. With even a shimmer in there. It looks like kind of a green shimmer. Kind of a green teal shimmer running through that, too. Very pretty. This one is called. Uh, Hyacinth Rains, very, very pretty. Once again, kind of a clear base with purple, lavender, teal glitters. And a um, teal shimmer. Very pretty. That'll be very pretty on the nail. PI Colors, I'm not sure if it's PI Colors or Pi Colors. They ask her. <laughs> Hyanthus rains. Next up is Victorian varnish. That one's called Chicago. Oh, Chicago. Oh, <laughs> love this one. It's really pretty. Of this color it's kind of a pinky um, what do you want to call it Ro not a really a rose but kind of a ro dark rose dark pink color with um, some hollow flakes in there different hollow flakes you can see the multicolored flakes in there once again this is Victoria varnish this is Chicago oh kind of a cranberry rosy pink color very pretty I like them the multi multi-colored flakes a little bit of hollow in there you can see those flakes right there Isn't that gorgeous gorgeous love that here's a unique one from pinnacle polish this one's called rainbow darter See, this is kind of a nude, really, really soft, um, maybe a light pink, nude type pink that has some really interesting glitters in there. It's got yellow, teal glitters, some black glitters, a little shimmer of uh, hollow in there. Very, very pretty. Very, very different with that kind of nude background. Makes those stand out really nicely. You kind of see that shimmer running in there. Kind of has a blue shimmer running through there kind of see that and then once again kind of has yellow gold flake or glitters with teal glitters and a little smithering of black glitters even some orange ones in there too looks like pinnacle polish very pretty very interesting um polish very unique once again this is rainbow darter From Pinnacle Polish. Next up is Red Eyed Lacquer. This one is called PBE Eros Tour. Very cute. <laughs> Love that. Got that blue base with a gold and 
pink shimmer, highly shimmered. You can see that, really shimmer. The scattered hollow, which I love. It's like there's some scattered hollow flakes in there. There you go, there's those hollow flakes. Gorgeous. Red eyed lacquer. Love the shimmer. Really gorgeous shimmer in there. Look at that. Mm, gold. A little bit of pink. Bronze. A whole bunch of different colors with the with the shimmer. Gorgeous with the hollow flakes. Love me the hollow flakes. That is a Jackie color. Gorgeous with the blue base. Once again, this is a PB Euros Tour from Red Eyed Lacquer. Next up is Alchemy Lacquer, Purple in Paradise, Purple Base, mm, gorgeous, and there's another gold and pink and a whole bunch of different shifting flakes in there, and hollow flakes, smearing hollow flakes also, multicolor flakes and hollow flakes, and a dark purple blue base, very pretty, love that one. Once again, this is Purple in Paradise. Alchemy Lacquer. Gorgeous. Look at that. All that bronzy kind of shift in there right there. Boom. Gorgeous. Pretty multi-chrome. Lots of stuff. This one. Next one is a soft purple with a gold shift. And this is from 1422 Designs. I think this was her first time at the expo. And this is a Windy City Sunset from 1422 Designs. Kind of mid-tone purple base with some hollow flakes and hollow and a gorgeous gold and kind of a teal shimmer on there also is what I see. Very pretty. Once again, this is 1422 Designs, and this is Windy City Sunset. Love me a lavender. Very pretty. Once again, this is Zombie Claw. We got the zombies back at it. <laughs> zombie Claw. Looks like a bronzy base with some scattered hollow. Very pretty. I like that color. Bronzy base with a scattered hollow. Can really see that scattered hollow. Once again, that zombie claw. The zombie's back at it. Kind of got a little bit of a gold shimmer to that. Pink shimmer. Also lots of hollow. Once again, this is Atomic, next up. Very important polish. Love me a pink, and that's with a gold shimmer. Lovely, love me a hot pink. This is almost a hot pink. Very, very bright pink, great for summer, with a gold shimmer. This is from Atomic. And very important polish. Gorgeous. Love me that, love me a pink. So again, this is Atomic Polish. And next up is Fair Maiden, which is no more. <laughs> but they did have one more, the Minnesota Goodbye. Another kind of a mid-tone pink with a really high gold shimmer. Very pretty. More of a soft pink with a gold shimmer and some hollow flakes. Looks like some white hollow flakes in there also. Fair Maiden. Minnesota Goodbye. Love that shimmer in there. That gold shimmer is very, very apparent. And this soft pink. Sorry about the noise, you guys. Um, here it is, uh, Ruby Lee. This one is a cuticle oil, almond cuticle oil. 
can never have too many cuticle oils. <laughs> and here's this one I got from Ruby Lee. Cuticle oil. I like it how it's a brush. It makes it easy to go on. Not sure like that. There you go. No scent, which is nice. That way you don't have to worry about a scent. And once again, that's Ruby Lee cuticle, Almond Cuticle Oil. Next up, we have Copacetic Cosmetic. Got a pressed eyeshadow. So a beautiful shimmer of pink in there and a little bit of green in a nude base, maybe? You know what? I'm not sure. It's really, really pretty, though. I think it's probably a off-white base, and then it's got the pink and the green shimmer. They're very pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but kind of right there you can see it. There it is. We're working on it, y'all. Got quite a few things here left. <laughs> this was a big bag. Bo Reeves, there you go. That's pretty. This is uh, Lucia Park. Lucia Park? I'm not sure exactly how you say that. They're very, very, very light, kind of um, pastel pinky purple with a huge shimmer of pink and purple in there. Very, very pretty. Lots and lots of shimmer there. It really brings that glow out. There's a the glow. Very, very pretty. Bereaves. Pretty. Look at that. There it is. That glow. Shimmer of kind of a pink purple. A little bit of gold in there, too. Very gorgeous. There's that purple shimmer. There you go. There's that pink shimmer. Bereaves. Not sure how you say that. I'll uh, see a park. That'll work. <laughs> We're still going strong, y'all. Next one is by Dana Viana. This looks like a clear base again, kind of a jelly feel with a whole bunch of different glitters in there. Some pink, some blue, some green, aqua. Very, very pretty. And it's got a kind of a shimmer in there also. Pink, purpley, gold shimmer. This one is called, let me see, this one is called Water Balloon Fight. Pretty. Look at that. That's going to be a gorgeous on the mail. All those different shifts in there of the multicolored flakes. Or multicolored, I think those are glitter. Multicolored glitter, yes. Lots of different glitters. By Dan Viana. And this is, shows the reflective. This is a reflective glitter in there. It says. That's what that little symbol is, is for reflective glitter. Hopefully you can see a little bit more of that reflective glitter on the nail. Oh, there you kind of see it down here a little bit. See that? Just a smithering of reflective glitter running through there. Very pretty. By Dan Viana. Water Balloon Fight. Next is Pretty in Paint It Pretty Polish. VIP Polish. Kind of a dusty purpley blue base with a whole bunch of multi-colored flakes. Very pretty. And there you see all those multi-colored flakes. A little bit of a shimmer, gold shimmer right there. Very, very pretty. Once again, this is painted pretty. And VIP polish. Love some multi-colored flakes. Have cattails up next, and that is Sky Glow. Another jelly, kind of a pinky purple base colored with a whole bunch of multicolored flakes again. This one says it glows in the dark. I can't really show you that, but I'm sure it does. It glows in the dark. Love the flakes in that. They're pretty. Multicolored flakes in this base of pink, kind of a pink purpley base. It's got a little scattered hollow also in there. Very pretty. This one is very cool. This is from Dom Polish. This is called Midnight Lights. This is a black base with a huge amount of 
silver reflective glare. Look at that. Is that amazing? And then it also has this purple shimmer. See that purple shimmer right there? How cool is that? I really cannot wait to put this one on. Very unique. That purple shimmer in there. Very cool. Purple blue shimmer. And then with the silver reflective glitters in a black base. Gorgeous. That is just gorgeous. This is Midnight Lights by Dom Polish. This is probably one of the coolest ones in the bag. How cool is that? I <laughs> love this one. And we some Angie. She does some interesting stuff. Look at that. That is really cool. We're getting there. Stay with me. <laughs> Next one, of course, Miss KB Shimmer. Miss Christy Rose. Uh, PB, there it takes a toll, is what that's called. And that's a, a kind of a blurple base, really dark purple base with a serious multicolored flakes. Look at that, very gorgeous. And that's kind of a bluish purple base with a whole bunch of multicolored flakes in there. Gorgeous. Once again, this is KB Shimmer. She's the one that does put on this Pops and Beauty Expo. Her and her team are extremely extraordinary. I don't know how they managed to do this. It's, it's, it runs like a well-oiled machine. It's incredible. And here is hers. Contribution to the VIP bag. Once again, this is It Takes a Toll. Huge multicolored flakes in a, in a blue-purple base. Very dark base. Gorgeous. Next one is from oh, Kathleen and Co. You can see it's a silver with a blue shimmer and some gold. Uh, yeah, it looks like some gold flakes in there too. This is called the Bean. The silver, see so that gold shimmer? Yeah, look at that pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. And then it has a blue to purple shimmer in there too. Look at that gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? Gold hollow and then some blue sh and purple shimmer. Kind of goes from blue to purple. Very pretty. And this silver base. There's the blue. Isn't that cool? This is another very unique one, I think. Called the Bean. Kathleen and Co. Amazing. Gorgeous color. Now our last polish up from this bag is from Rogue. This is a very important polish, another v VIP polish. And this is kind of a dark, probably blackened base with um, lots of multi-chrome copper, and it has blue, lots of different shifts of color in there. Pink shimmer, pinky purple shimmer in there, gorgeous. And then it's got that shift, kind of a coppery shift to it, very pretty. Once again, this is Rogue VIP Polish. Look at that. Stunning. Now, the last couple of things we have are non polish items, but they are amazing. We got this huge um, Killer Queen's Luxury Hand Cream from a Bygone Apothecary. Look at this thing, is massive. It's huge, four ounces. Very neat. Oops, can open that up. But creamy, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And it smells wonderful. Nice scent. Let's see what the scent is called on top of here. I think it's Zenobia of Plumera. I'm not sure if that's from Palmera. Zenobia of Palmera. Smells fabulous. Killer Queens Luxury Hand by Bygone Apothecary. Huge four ounces. Nice scent, not too strong, but just strong enough. I love that. And then we also got another um, cream from Dark Moon Essentials, Saltus Lotion, grapefruit. Nice, creamy. Smells good. I love grapefruit. One of my favorite scents. And once again, this is from Dark Moon Essentials. The last thing I have to show you is from Rivet Stickets. This is a car freshener. Isn't that funny? Um, you take the lid off, which I haven't done yet. 
I can get this lid off. And you're supposed to unplug this little thing here, put this lid back on, kind of push it up and back and forth like this, and that scent is supposed to come up onto this lid and kind of make it wet, and then that scent will come through your car. And that's you hang it. And this is, uh, I'm not sure what that says on there. Right this way, I think it says right this way. Maybe that's the scent. And I just noticed that there's kind of a, you gotta shake that up, there you go. A little color, and that's probably the scent. And then the scent comes kind of through this lid. And you hang it up, have fun. I haven't done it yet, I'll have to put that in my car. But that was everything that came in the VIP bag. It is a lot of stuff, y'all. It's amazing. Um, I really, like I said, I appreciate being offered as press this time, and I got all this was included in my press bag. It was incredible. We also did get a, another little item from when we went to the meet and greet. Another cup, Polish and Beauty Espo, came in a cup with a lid and a straw. And these little flecks on here when you put um, water or whatever you put in it, they kind of change, change colors, which is kind of fun. And with that, you do also get a polish from KB Shimmer, that, which comes in the cup. And this one is called, what is this called? This one is called Meet and Greet Sips About to Go Down. Sips About to Go Down is what this one's called. Very cute. This is a medium toned pink with lots of hollow glitter in there. How pretty is that? Isn't that gorgeous? A gorgeous polish, y'all. Medium tone glitter, uh, pink with a lots of hollow, multi-colored hollow glitters. So pretty. It's kind of what I did on the top here, and it matches the top of the cup. That's one thing I noticed with these. That each year you get a new cup. Each new, it's a new color, and each year the polish matches the top of the cup. How cute is that on there? I tell you, KB Shimmer, Christy has got everything just so tight. It's amazing. Once again, this is called Sips, about to go down, and this was for the. Everyone who had tickets to go to the meet and greet got one of these and the cup as they left as part of the ticket price. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. Love the multicolor glitters. Very pretty. Hollow, multicolor hollow glitters in a pink base. Yep, last year I think it was teal and we got a teal polish with the teal cup. <laughs> I just think that's amazing. How they just have everything so tight and put together. Amazing. Which again, this is KB Shimmer. Sips about to go down. That's everything I have for you today, you guys. Um, that was a lot of stuff. Thank you for staying with me. Um, this was a, an amazing event. I hope if you didn't get a chance or haven't had a chance to go, that you try to go. It is really extraordinary um, being around people that love polish as much as you do. Um, getting to meet the people that you probably talk to online but have never actually met face to face. That's what I enjoy the most. Got to meet so many people. I do have um, on my Instagram page a lot of the people that I did meet, some photos. Um, um, so that is something that is just is really amazing to me. Not just what you get through here, but the, the connections and the people that you really get to meet. And that you've grown to have really good friendships with even online, so you get to see them. Once again, thank you for coming and joining me on this uh, video, a little bit longer video. And I'll try to do the next one with the ones that I actually purchased and what I got. I just didn't want to do it this one because that would have made this one extremely long. Anyways, thank you for joining and I will talk to you on another video. <laughs> Bye.